Ministers change, the state minister was promoted, but the financial report for 2018 shows no traction lost in the calculated pursuit of growth and fiscal discipline. We remain disciplined in our debt reduction strategy. There has been tax revenue buoyancy. And it's a game changer for innovation, for opportunity, and for growth. Over the last 12 months, the Finance Ministry secured funding from its multilateral partners and made space in the national budget to support the drivers of economic growth. It will support more than 1,000 partial credit guarantees to enable the financial sector to provide more loans to small and medium enterprises through the improved credit enhancement facility. for fiscal year 2018-19, read my lips, no new taxes. The tax break did not slow down revenue collections. The money is to help finance the $791 billion national budget for the 2018-2019 fiscal year. Early in the calendar year, the Ministry's investment in the upgrading of the Queen's Warehouse led to a reopened facility with increased storage capacity able to maximize revenue. And then this. When we move the limit from 0 to 5%, based on the $550 billion in pension funds, over $25 billion of capital will be available for investing in venture capital. The state's liabilities were managed with care in 2018. Our debt reduction strategy has been anchored around a primary surplus target of 60% debt to GDP by 25, 20, the financial year 2025-26. The projected goal is in sight as the debt-to-GDP ratio dropped below 110% in the year. Government also had no need to dip into the IMF's precautionary standby funds and Cabinet in fact approved the establishment of an independent fiscal council to monitor the economic reform gains post-agreement. So that our exit from a program relationship with the IMF is sustained over time with no need to return. I now move to introduce and have read a first time a bill shortly entitled the Bank of Jamaica Amendment Act 2018. The bill seeks to improve the governance of the central bank. Mr. Speaker, Jamaica remains committed to honoring obligations under CARICOM to which we are signatories. Accordingly, the Customs Tariff Revision Amendment Resolution 2018 is hereby submitted to this Honourable House for confirmation. Matter approved. I'm pleased to announce that the Cabinet at its last meeting has approved the development of a national natural disaster risk financing policy. The new country program, which is applicable for the period 2018 to 2023, will focus on water and environment management, health and nutrition, food and agriculture, nuclear and radiation safety and security, and energy and industry. The Ministry recognized the value in the collective skills and knowledge of the public sector workforce and deployed its negotiating skills to secure four-year wage deals with more workers in 2018. We are particularly pleased that we are now at 91% of the, the public sector you know, covered by uh, 
agreements that cover four years to 2021. On the flip side, work under the Public Sector Transformation Program continued with the implementation of the Special Early Retirement Program, SERP. We are very pleased with the continued direction of the positive trends in the economy and the prospects that they hold for job creation. Generally, there is a sense of confidence in the economy. So much so, international rating agencies Standard & Poor's and Moody's both improved their outlook for Jamaica from stable to positive. The country was also rated B by Fitch with a positive outlook in January. It really stresses how far Jamaica has come on reducing its debt and improving the macroeconomic outlook. Um, I think the future is bright. We have been able to, in two short years, to almost double capital expenditure. That is only possible because we have so far been successful in the implementation of our economic reform program. It promises to improve our lives to improve your life. And we are just getting started. 